Let us pray. Prepare our hearts, O oh God, to accept your word. Silence in us any voice but your own, that hearing we may also obey your will. Through Jesus Christ our Lord we pray, amen. We heard the word of God. May we stand and testify to that which we believe using the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and of life everlasting. Amen. You may be seated. As we gather together as God's people, we come into God's presence in an opportunity of prayer, to present ourselves with our joys and our concerns, knowing that God loves us and that God cares about us and that God acts on our behalf, that God listens to us. As I always begin with the list, I always begin with the joy side and I always begin with guests and visitors. We are honored to have you here this morning and we hope that all that we do is a reflection of God's grace in the presence and life of this church. The next show I wrote down has to do with next Sunday, the Faith in Action Sunday. I was talking to someone over at the Baptist Church the other day, and I made a comment about this. As you know, sometimes the Baptist Church does something like this as well. And I made a comment about ours, and I told him some of the projects we were doing, and he thought that was cool. It's something that a smaller church can do to show who we are in a community. And for me, that is a joy. The other joy I wrote down has to do with Herm Neiman. Many of you know that Herm had been in the hospital. I had a message from his daughter last night saying that he's probably going to be moving into a rehabilitation center for a couple weeks. We don't know exactly which one that is yet, but when I find out, I will let you know. We need to keep Herm in our prayers. He's doing well. He's recovering. I think the rehab is strictly an issue of getting his steadiness back. And so we need to be in prayer for Herm and also thank God for God's presence in Herm's life. On the concern side, we always pray for all the people you see on the back of your bulletins, the homebound members of this church, the military personnel and their families. We've been praying for Nick Williams and Polly Claxton, who are representatives of our own congregation on that list. We've been praying for Megan for the last couple of weeks. I've already mentioned that the prayer quilt is for her. So we continue to pray for Megan and for her family during this time of uncertainty. We need to be praying for the people in Bermuda this morning as they're waking up to our Hurricane Igor. I think it's been downgraded, but if those of you in this congregation who have ever been through a hurricane, it doesn't make any difference if the winds are 100 miles an hour or 140 miles an hour. It is still a scary time. So we pray for the people there we pray for the church community that is there, and for, we pray that Christ is present in that area. We also need to be in prayer not only for the people in Bermuda, but also the people in Mexico. There was a tropical storm that crossed into Mexico a couple days ago, and they're dealing with the issue of flooding. And so we need to pray for the people who have lost homes and livelihoods and loved ones in Mexico during this time of flooding. What other joys or concerns do we need to add to our list this morning? Yes, ma'am. I'm going to watch my step here. I have a joy. Yes, ma'am. It's Ned's birthday. Now, you'll probably say, no, it's not his birthday. It's Neil. It's Ned's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He did. Right. Okay, we're going to correct that. Happy birthday, Ned. And to your brother as well. Is he older or younger than you? He's the older, He's the older brother. By how long? Nine minutes. Nine minutes. Well, okay. You, 
<laughs> Happy birthday. Other joys or concerns? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Absolutely. The women's circles are starting back up. They met on Thursday, am I correct? Very good. Yes, ma'am. Yes. But she's doing better? Okay. She's doing well if she's looking for Dr. Pepper. I understand. Okay, so he's not a good patient is what you're saying. Is that Jim, if I remember from last week? Okay. Okay. Yeah, sometimes those guys don't make good patients. So we'll pray for him and for his family. Other joys or concerns? Coming around. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and her name? Okay. Having surgery. On Thursday, did you say? Okay. Okay, we'll have her on our prayer list. Other joys or concerns? Yes, sir. Your niece and her name again? Leah. Leah. Okay. Cancer? Okay. We'll have her on our list. Yes, ma'am. Yes. <laughs> I've never heard Rita play the piano. We're going to have to get her down here. Very good. Heard you had a good turnout. Lots of folks present. Very good. Fourteen. All right. So it was a wild time at the country. Coming around this way. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Very good. Very good. E Excellent. All right. Anything else? Other joys or concerns? Yes, sir. You know, when we have the duets around here, it does kind of add to the morning, doesn't it? Thank you for being here. Anything else? Let's come into God's presence. Let us pray. Almighty God, in the silence of this moment, we bow before you as your people. You have created us, you have redeemed us, and you sustain us every moment of every day. And so, God, in this moment, we affirm our faith in you. We affirm, O oh God, that this moment is just not an opportunity for us to talk to ourselves or to lift our voices to the ceiling. It is an opportunity to be in communication and relationship with you. So God, as we lift up our joys and our concerns this morning, we ask you to hear our prayers. We lift up our prayers of joy, O oh God. 
all the things that we have mentioned this morning that remind us of just how close you are to us. Remind us of your grace and your love and your mercy and your presence. We thank you, O oh God, for your presence in the lives of those that we love, friends and family. We thank you, O oh God, for a sense of community that you give us in this congregation as we come together in ministry and fellowship. We thank you, O oh God, for gifts shared, for talents expressed in worship. We thank you, O oh God, that in all ways and in all things you are present. Gracious God, for every gift, for every smile, for every hug, for every opportunity of service, for every moment of grace. We thank you because it is a gift given to us in your love. We lift up our prayers of concern, O oh God, for all the people that we have mentioned this morning, for people that we know and love, and for people that we don't know at all. We pray, O oh God, for your gift of healing. We thank you for doctors and nurses and for their skills, but you are the one who is the great physician. And so, O oh God, we, put, we entrust our friends and our loved ones into your care. We lift up our prayers, O oh God, for those who are dealing with weather issues in Bermuda and in Mexico. We pray, O oh God, for those who are struggling, for those who feel uncertain and forgotten and alone. We pray, O oh God, that we have an opportunity to be your hands and feet in this world, to show your grace and your mercy and your love and your presence in all that we do in this community and beyond. We pray this morning, O oh God, for those who govern over us, on a national, state, and local level. We pray for God, those who watch over us and protect us, for firefighters and police officers. We pray, O oh God, for all those in our, in our lives that remind us that we are loved, because sometimes we don't feel that way. So, O oh God, we ask you to hear our prayers of concern. We ask for your blessing and for your healing and for your hope and for your reassurance and for your peace. God, touch us as we need to be touched. Hold us and love us and reassure us that you never let us go, no matter what it surrounds us. Gracious God, we pray for this church, the part of the body of Christ that we know best. We pray for our ministries. We pray for our challenges. We pray for our weaknesses and our uncertainties and our doubts. But most of all, O oh God, we pray that you give us your spirit in special ways so that in all that we do, we can reflect your presence and mercy and love and grace and hope to each other and to the world around us. Oh God, we ask for your blessing and we ask you to hear our prayers for we offer them to you in the name of Christ and we join our voices together to pray his prayer saying, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Let us bring our tithes and our offerings to God. <laughs> 